guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is a tutorial on this look right here. I hope you enjoy and let's just jump right into it. So guys, for today's tutorial, I am starting off the look with my base already done and I've just got a little bit of contour on as well just so I don't look like a deathly pale ghost. All the shadows are coming out of the Morphe 35F palette today. Now my eyes already have a little bit of concealer applied on them so I'm just going to pop a bit of translucent loose setting powder over the top to set them. Then I'm taking this kind of warm brown shade on just a small brush and I'm just carving out my socket. So just where my normal natural crease is. I'm just carving our line in through that to help define and begin our cut crease. Cool. And now as I get to the end of my eyelid, I'm just going to flick it out at the ends as you can see here. Now I know it looks a bit crazy, but don't worry, it all comes together in the end. Then I'm just taking a larger pencil brush to help buff out that line just so it's not as defined and makes it a little bit softer, but I do have a little bit of additional product on. Then I'm going in with this darker brown as well. I'm just going to intensify that line. So just with that same pencil brush, I'm just going to help define throughout the entire socket, I'm really focusing on that outer edge of the eye. Then I'm just going to buff that line out further with just a plain fluffy brush. Um, this brush doesn't have any additional product on it, so I'm just going to buff around the edges. Then I'm just, again, just going to go back and intensify the area again and then blend it out. So going in with the shades and then blending it out, um, that will help to kind of give a really smoked out effect, but then really defined line. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to cut out the crease a little bit more. So I'm going to apply this all over my lid and then really kind of sharpen up that line between my crease and my lid so it gives it the cut crease look. Now once that's all kind of carved out, I'm going to take this light champagne colour from the palette and I'm just going to apply that to the inner third of my eye. I have sprayed my brush with a bit of MAC Fix Plus. It's going to help to foil out the shadow a bit, but I'm just going to pack that on using light packing motions. Then I'm going to take a kind of more gold toned shade and apply that to the inner third of, oh no, inner third, <laughs> the centre of my lid but also bring it into the inner third to kind of blend those two shadows together. Then I'm going to take this nice rusty bronze shade and just apply that to the outer third of my eye. I'm going to blend the edges together so it gives a really nice seamless ombre effect to the eyeshadow. So that's really seamless and blended, I'm going to apply a little, or de deepen up the crease a little bit with this really nice rusty brown colour, it's a matte shade. I'm just going to apply that using a pencil brush to the outer edges of my eye and also run it a little bit into the socket to clean up any areas that have got a little bit of the concealer throughout the crease, just to just clean that all up. Then I'm going to just buff out the edges using a fluffy brush with no additional product and then just carving up the edges a little bit with a bit of loose translucent setting powder and my beauty blender and then just blending around away the excess just to also get rid of any fallout that fallout that may have occurred. So next I'm going to take the shade and I'm just going to run it along the lower lash line using a pencil brush to help smoke it out. Then I'm just going to move on to a slightly darker brown from the palette and just use again that that same pencil brush to really buff that lower lash line out. Then I'm going to use that same colour we used in the crease, that dark rusty brown shade just along my lower lash line to really stamp that lash line out to help define it and then just buff it out again with that pencil brush that's really smoked. Then I'm going to apply again that same champagne colour that we used first just to highlight my eyes. Next I've just applied a thin layer of mascara and I'm just popping on some false lashes. These are just the Ardell Wispies 120s. I've also filled in my eyebrows as well using the Anastasia Brow Define. Then I'm just going to use a nude pencil and just apply that to my bottom waterline and just a little bit of mascara as well. Then I'm just going to make sure the whole look is really blended and smoked out. I'm just using a fluffy brush that has no additional product just to make sure it's all really seamless and smoked out. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of blush to the apples of my cheek and kind of work that to my cheeks and then also towards my temple. Now please excuse my eyes just here. I have such bad allergies but I swear it looks like I'm about to burst into tears. But I'm not guys. I'm not going to start crying. I'm moving on to highlight now. I'm just using the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, tip of my nose and my cupid's bow and just give it a really nice glowy highlighted look. 
Then to start off the lips, I'm just going to use Eastern Snob from Rimmel and I'm just going to line my lips slightly overdrawn at the sides as well just to even out my lips a bit um, and I'm just going to slightly fill them in as well. Then for lipstick, I'm just going to take my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick and just apply that to my lips. And then to finish them off, I'm just going to apply a little bit of a light pink gloss just to make the lips nice and glossy, which I think will complement the glittery eyes as well. Um, but it's also just really neutral lip look, so it's kind of my favourite go-to combination at the moment. So guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. All the shadows that I used were from the Morphe 35F palette. I will be posting a little mini review slash swatches um, video based around this palette probably next week. So stay tuned for that. A little bit of a sneak peek. They're amazing, as you can see. But if you're new, hi and welcome. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a like, thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!